Hi, my name is James Bosch. I'm a burn survivor and a licensed therapist, and I'm here with my friend Veronica Lopez, and we want to talk to you about a really cool tool for dealing with stress and anxiety and other issues called tapping or EFT emotional freedom technique. Veronica, why don't you introduce yourself and just um, let people know who you are? My name is Veronica Lopez and I am a burn survivor of almost 11 and a half years and I am a mother of six. Great to have you here. I'm going to describe to you a little bit about what tapping is and then I'm going to lead Veronica through uh, tapping and also you. So as I lead Veronica through, I will be hopefully teaching you this technique. And I uh, invited Veronica because um, she likes tapping and uses it. So um, she's, she's proof that this is a cool tool. So the tapping is based on a very old concept of Chinese medicine, or if you've ever had acupuncture, acupressure. It's based on a series of points or meridians in your body that are along energy pathways. And our energy can get blocked in our body. And by stimulating these points, you can get the energy flowing again. And it combines that concept with modern psychology, which deals with the mind. And our thoughts can also block energy too, right? They can get us stuck. So we are um, going to combine with EFT, with tapping the body and mind. Because as Vessel van der Kolk says in his book, The Body Speaks Its Mind, it's a great book on trauma and uh, the body, is that what we think we feel in our body and what we feel in our body we think. so. These two are very connected. So I'm going to lead Veronica and I'm going to set it up and tell you the whole process. And, um, and let's just go and see how it goes, okay? Okay. Awesome. So there's a few steps. So the first step is you want to identify an issue that you want to work on. So Veronica, is there an issue you'd like to um, use as an example today? Um, so currently, the, my stress and anxiety is because my husband's working in the Bay Area, so he's not home during the whole week, and so that causes me a lot of anxiety. Okay, great. So we're going to work with that anxiety with tapping and see what happens. So you can think about whatever issue might be causing you some stress and anxiety when we go through this. The first step is we're going to rate how much we're feeling this feeling. So. Go into your body, Veronica, and kind of feel the anxiety and stress and rate how intense it is on a scale of zero to 10. Zero being completely neutral and 10 being like the total worst stress. So right now my anxiety is about an eight. Okay. So an eight is pretty high. And so you just can remember that or write it down because it's important to have these ratings so you can see what's moving. So the next thing you're going to do is what's called the setup statement and the setup movement. So the statement goes like this. Even though I have this blank, and we're going to use the word anxiety today, even though I have this anxiety, I completely and deeply accept myself. And the point that we're going to use to set that up is called the karate chop point. It doesn't matter which hand you use, but it's just the side of the hand and we're gonna tap it using about three fingers and continuously tapping it as we say the statement. So repeat after me, even though. Even though. I have this anxiety. I have this anxiety. I completely and deeply accept myself. I completely and deeply accept myself. Even though. Even though. I have this anxiety. I have this anxiety. I completely and deeply accept myself. I completely and deeply accept myself. Even though I have this anxiety. Even though I have this anxiety. I completely and deeply accept myself. I completely and deeply accept myself. So you're gonna do that maybe four or five times. And then once you've done the setup, we're gonna run through the meridians points. I'm gonna share my screen so you can see those points and, and practice along. So let me pull that up for you. Great, so now, You've done the setup, and now we're gonna run through the points. And we're just gonna use a word or phrase that identifies the issue. So we're just gonna use this anxiety for our first round, okay? So if you wanna follow along with me, Veronica, we always start with the inside of the eye. You tap about seven times this anxiety. 
This anxiety. Side of the eye. This anxiety. This anxiety. Under the eye. This anxiety. This anxiety. Under the nose. This anxiety. This anxiety. Under the lip. This anxiety. This anxiety. Then we move to the collarbone and we use about three or four fingers and say this anxiety. This anxiety. Under the arm. This anxiety. This anxiety. Top of the head. This anxiety. This anxiety. Take a deep breath. Now let's go one more time through. And on this time, we'll get a little more fluid with the words. You can say anything you want. So I'll just make things up. But if you're doing it on your own, you just can change the words each time. So let's go again, inner eye. This anxiety. This anxiety. This stress I'm feeling. This stress I'm feeling. The anxiety with the situation. The anxiety with the situation. Under the nose. This anxiety. This anxiety I'm feeling. Under the mouth. This anxiety. This anxiety that's stressing me. Awesome. Collarbone. This anxiety. Under the arm. I can release. I can release. Top of the head. This anxiety can move away from my body. Letting go of this anxiety. Awesome. I love how you change the words for yourself. Now take a deep breath. And now check in with your body and see where on a scale of zero to 10 you are now. Um, I'm at a five. Okay. So you moved it from an eight to five, which is pretty significant. So what you can do is you can be okay with that if you don't have time and you had some movement, right? But it would be great as you do another round and another setup. So you still have some anxiety. So you would go back to your karate chop and do the statement. Even though I still have some anxiety. Even though I still have some anxiety. I completely and deeply accept myself. I completely and deeply accept myself. Even though I still have this anxiety. Even though I still have this anxiety. I completely and deeply accept myself. I completely and deeply accept myself. Even though I still have this anxiety and it's going down. Even though I have this anxiety and it's not going down. It's going down. It's going down. I completely and deeply accept myself. I completely and deeply accept myself. That was a good thing to turn off your technology when you're doing this work, right? <laughs> we have so many distractions in our life. And yes. so, um, so then you would just go through the points again, right? And you could do all the points and you keep going and go as long as you want until you get to a number that feels, you know, manageable to you. And important to note that you could do either side. You know, you could do this side of the face or this side of the face. It doesn't matter which side that you do. So why don't you tell me, Veronica, how are you feeling now? I'm feeling a lot better. Um, for me, um, certain points, especially my chest, um, it's a point that works for me. And so throughout the day, I tend to tap my chest. Um, it just helps release whatever I'm going through. And I don't, sometimes I don't um, voice out like I'm, I have anxiety or something. It's just in my mind and I'm tapping away and it helps to release that. That's great. So you could just tap this point, which this one feels extremely soothing for you. And you just tap and you don't have to say the words out. You don't have to stop what you're doing. You may be at work or you may be in a meeting or you may be, you know, helping the kids with homework or something. And you don't have to stop and do the whole thing, right? You right. Can just, you know, soothe yourself. And I love that it's that you're also touching your heart or near your heart too, because that's very soothing when we're stressed to connect with our body. So it's awesome. So you can see how this can be a tool that can, that can be used anytime. It, it feels a little silly at first. It takes some getting used to, but I encourage you to put it in your toolbox and give it a try and see how it works for you. 
you can work on stress, you can work on a trauma, you can work on just anything that's going on, just like the stress of being two people working with children and having to commute long ways, you know, that that is real stress, right, on a family. So you can use anything to can help you connect and ground and um, get back in your body and make it a place that's better to live in, right? Yes. So um, I encourage you to reach out uh, to the internet for more information because there's so much. There's the Tapping Solution website, which I know you've taken many of their courses, and there's free EFT um, trainings, and there's a lot of practitioners that have a lot of YouTube videos. Play with it like anything, add it to your toolbox, and see how it works for you. Thank you so much, Veronica, for being here today and helping us share this tool. If you need any more help or resources, please reach out to uh, the Lisa Andrews Burn Foundation or your support system and um, have a beautiful day. Thank you. you Thank you for allowing me to participate. Thanks for being awesome. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>